addicts, whether single or married, on the long run, they will favor masturbation over real sexual intimacy with partners. This is what porn addiction leads to. And as a result, many who are obsessed with their addiction may suffer from what is called erectile dysfunction. That is the inability of maintaining the most essential part in having a sexual relationship with one's wife. Isn't it strange that people go to porn on the hope of enhancing their sexual ability with their wives, yet at the end pornography leads them to having no sex at all? That tells you a lot about the reality and seriousness of the matter. In a survey that was reported on the Daily Mail of the UK, they stated that one in five men watch porn three to five times a week, and 3% admit they prefer it to sex with a partner. They have also stated that watching porn is addictive in the same way as cocaine, with users building up a tolerance for hardcore content over time that leaves them unsatisfied with real-life sexual activity. A group of researchers from the Naval Medical Center of San Diego had 300 male and female patients fill out two surveys on their porn habits. For men, researchers noticed a strong association between regularly watching porn and suffering from a lack of sexual desire and erectile dysfunction. In the past 10 years or so, many men have been complaining about not being able to perform with their wives. The complaints can be seen in elder groups of men as 40 to about 50 plus years old or even as young as 20 years of age. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, it is not worth destroying your sex life by wasting it on that which will ultimately strip you away from all pleasures in life. So now, what you should do to reboot your system and get back in shape and start a fulfilling life. Number one, learn all you can about pornography addiction. Get the right understanding about addiction, that it is always about your brain and not the substance itself. Learn well that you could be addicted to absolutely anything as long as your brain perceives that thing as enjoyable and rewarding. Learn all you can about desensitization that pornography could cause, which is a numb response to anything pleasurable. Number two, change your environment. You will have to create a different environment other than that which you were accustomed to during your days of addiction to masturbation. One of the most important things that you should change, for example, is not using internet in private anymore. It will take a while to adjust to a new habit, but in no long time, you'll be able to create a fresh new environment that is healthy and lawful. Number three, replacement of the current habits. Whatever habit you would like to create should be productive and enjoyable to you. Don't stress yourself about going to the gym if you are not into exercise, but perhaps you would love walking every morning in the park, or perhaps you love swimming instead of walking. Maybe reading or fishing is your thing. Whatever habit you wish to develop, it has to be productive and enjoyable so that you could be able to replace the old ones. Number four, be prepared for withdrawal symptoms. Sometimes it is really hard for people to understand this period because they weren't prepared for it. But when you know that pornography could cause depression, anxiety, and, and irritation, and so on, you would at least calm down when these uh, symptoms happen because you simply have known and have understood and have studied why they happen. Number five, find a support group to offer you help. There are many websites of that nature that could really create a difference in your life. Just knowing that you are not alone will provide you hope to fight harder and regain your strength and sexual life. You can check the community members of FAB, for example, where you can learn more and find the necessary support. Don't worry about when will you be able to quit. Just commit to quit and the rest will be easy.